This is the all new Weem Pro Plus. It's the brand new streamer from Weem. Is it better than the Weem Pro? Let's find out together. Sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the new Weem Pro Plus streamer. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. We have over 760 videos. Everything from streamers, DACs, turntables, amps, headphones, just about everything hi-fi related. So I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and like this video. We're going to do some in-depth comparisons between the DAC and this Weem Pro Plus to other DACs and find out just how good this is. However, that's not happening in this video. We're just comparing the Weem Pro Plus to the Weem Pro. So thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you've probably heard me go on and on about Weem products because I think it is the highest value when it comes to streaming audio. It does gapless playback. It has a 10 band EQ. It does Apple AirPlay 2. It has a really good streaming platform. It has digital outputs. It has a remote control now. Technically speaking, it's had a remote control for a while. You could get it. It works with Amazon Alexa. It works with Chromecast. It works with Rune, kind of. We'll get into that later. And it can be a preamp of sorts. So what I'm gonna do is talk about the differences between the Pro Plus, the Weem Pro Plus, and the Weem Pro. And I'll talk about how it sounds in comparison and talk about my final thoughts. The price, the price of the Weem Pro Plus. Sometimes I wish they had different model names. Anyway, the price between the Weem Pro, is very difficult to say Weem Pro, Weem Pro Plus, which is the new one, is $219 compared to $150 for the Weem Pro. However, Weem Pro Plus comes with a remote control, and that is a $10 adder if you buy it at the time of purchasing the Weem Pro. So it would put the total price at $160. You can also add the remote control separately at $20. So apples to apples comparison, this is a $60 premium over the Weem Pro with the remote, so $60. So why is it more expensive? Well, because of the DAC. Inside the Weem Pro Plus, they are using the AKM AK4493SEQ DAC chipset. This is a low jitter DAC, supports audio up to 768 kilohertz, 32 bit 768, boasting an impressive 123 dB signal to noise ratio. They say it's the perfect choice for high res audio streaming, satisfying even the most discerning music enthusiasts with its superior audio quality. Even the Weem Pro sounds pretty good, and I use the Weem Pros regularly to test different equipment to AB the equipment. Because one thing about the Weem app is that you can link variable devices together or multiple devices together. So what I do when I'm testing out equipment, A being it, is I take two Weems and I link them together. So they're playing the same song at the same time with no latency. Then I level things out and I use the internal DAC so there's no level or DAC disparity. Try to eliminate as many variables as I can. When I'm doing that, even on high-end equipment, I've never had Never had the thought, oh my goodness, this is terrible. I really need a way better DAC to do this. But the new crop of AKM DACs coming out, especially the affordable ones, all use the 4493S chipset. Some are better integrated than others. The SU-1 from SMSL is one of the best, it is the best DAC I've ever heard under $100 how it's going to compare to the Weem Pro Plus versus just a Weem Pro connected to an SU-1, we will find out because that comes in around the same cost. Because a Weem Pro Plus, the SU-1, comes in at $230. You're not gonna get the remote control, but we're within $10 of one another. I'm gonna figure out today, via video tomorrow, if the Weem Pro plus the SU-1 is better than the Weem Pro Plus. That's a mouthful. 
The Ween platform is one of my favorite platforms across all streamers, regardless of price. Actually, I think the Ween Pro streaming platform is the most well-rounded streaming platform out there, even when you compare it to streamers around $1,000. I just had the EverSolo AMP6, and while it's prettier, it's built better, it sounds marginally better, the streaming platform is actually bested by the Weem Pro's streaming platform, even the Weem Mini streaming platform, because it's all the same. It natively integrates YouTube Music, Amazon Music, Tidal, Kobas, Deezer, I think. I even think there's a way you can do Apple Music with it, but I don't personally use Apple Music. You can use Pandora. Spotify has Tidal Connect and Spotify Connect. The Weem Pro is Rune Ready. The Weem Pro Plus will be Rune Ready with probably a new update. Speaking of updates, Weem updates their products more than any other company I've seen when it comes to streamers. Seems like there is constantly an update coming and that update usually unlocks more features. And I think at this point we can't talk about, hey, the Weem is just a good budget streaming option. We're to a point now where Weem flat out is just the best music streaming option when it comes to updating, when it comes to feature set. Sonically, there can be an argument made against these much higher end streamers. From a fully fleshed out ecosystem software platform, you cannot, I don't think anybody beats Weem at any price. You may be like a streaming power user and the Weem may not do everything, but for the majority of the people out there that just wanna stream music, whether it's from their NAS, whether it's from a streaming platform, or from Rune, I don't think Weem is beaten at any price. First thing you do, download the Weem app. Then you plug in your Weem device. It's going to do some searching. One of the things I love about the Weem software is the 10 band EQ because when one is looking at an affordable streamer, chances are that their system isn't perfect. And even with the Weem Mini that comes in around $80, you have 10 bands of EQ. I'm actually gonna link a video that I did about my preferred EQ settings. Not a lot of people watched that video, but some of my patrons reached out to me and said how useful that video was. So I will put that up right here, hopefully if I remember. Give that video a rewatch because I think you'll be surprised just how much you can change your system with just a few tweaks of the EQ. And that's the difference between the Weem platform and other platforms. Now, you're not gonna be getting bit perfect playback, but when you're talking about a $200 streamer or an $80 streamer, I don't think we really need to be worried about bit perfect playback. Even if we're talking about a $1,000 streamer, I don't think you need to be worried about bit perfect playback. I don't think that plays as big of a role in your music enjoyment as you think. I could be totally wrong though, and you may just want the insurance of it being bit perfect. Regardless, the Ween platform has a 10 band EQ and I have found it incredibly useful in my use case scenario. The Ween also plays gapless. Gapless playback means if you're listening to a live album or a record that has one track that rolls right into the second track without any pauses, some streamers will put a pause in there because it's digital music. So it's going to be going from one track to the next and when it switches from one track to the next, there's a pause. However, with the Weem, you have no pauses. So I listen a lot to the Nirvana MTV Unplugged album. Those tracks roll right into the next track. So with the Weem Pro, when I'm listening, there's no gap in there. And gaps bug the heck out of me when it comes to digital music. Obviously, this doesn't matter if you're listening to a playlist on random, but if you're listening to albums in their entirety, you're gonna want the gapless playback. And at this point, there's no reason not to get gapless playback because you can get something so affordable. Let's talk about the DAC. I just got off the phone with a DAC expert, someone that makes DACs for a living, somebody that uses the same DAC chipset in some of their products. Same DAC chip in the SU-1 from SMSL, same DAC chip in some of the other SMSL products, same DAC chip in the J2 from just Shelly Labs. However, in speaking with an industry expert, I was asking him about 
where the sonic differences can come from when you're using the same DAC chip. And of course, the analog output stage can be something that affects the chipset. But there is a way to basically tune the chipset, especially with different filters. However, the thing that he said makes the biggest impact on the sonic characteristic of a DAC is the power regulator chip. Not the power supply that you're plugging into the wall, but there's a chip on the board that regulates the power. They told me that that is kind of the magic maker when it comes to getting the 4493 to sound the best. I say all that because with only a $60 adder on top of the Weem Pro, chances are a lot of these things haven't been put into place when it comes to maximizing the power and performance of the 4493 SE chip. With all that said though, does it sound better than the Weem Pro? Yes, it does. Not remarkably so, but it sounds better. Now, I haven't had this for a ton of time. I just got it this weekend, but I wanted to be able to put out a video right away because this is available today. What I will say is a lot better bass on the Pro Plus than the Pro. Thicker, thumpier. Better detail as well, especially with percussion. Initial listening was done just on headphones, so I'm going to get it on speakers today really put it through its paces to be able to tell if there's a big difference in soundstage imaging depth with more dynamic range lower thd usually that translates into bigger soundstage placement of instruments in space better i will know more later today so what are my final thoughts Do you need the Weem Pro Plus if you currently have the Weem Pro hooked up to an external DAC? No, you probably don't. However, if you don't have a Weem Pro and you don't have it hooked up to an external DAC, if you don't have a Weem Mini hooked up to an external DAC, then I think the Weem Pro Plus is the obvious choice. Especially if you're adding a Weem to a second room or a second system, and you don't want to budget for a DAC. The DAC is better than the internal DAC and the Weem Pro. Is it better than the Weem Pro plus an SU1? We're going to find out today. Is it better than a Weem Pro hooked up to a Gishelli Labs J2? We're going to find out today. Or I'm going to find out. You'll find out tomorrow. You get a remote control, a better DAC. And for a $60 adder, I think it's a absolute no brainer it doesn't matter though i mean we just knocks it out of the park i don't know if there's a huge audio streaming industry to be disrupted but if there was an industry to be disrupted weem definitely did so because this device the whole weem product family is absolutely unrivaled at its price point and i think even the software is unrivaled at any price point your mileage may vary though so please subscribe, turn on all the notifications so tomorrow you will see the in-depth comparison between the internal DAC and the Weem Pro Plus to the Weem Pro with the SU-1 from SMSL and the Weem Pro with the J2 from Gishelli Labs and maybe some other DACs. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for my Patreon. You can use any of the links in the description. Those are affiliate links or you can sign up for Amazon Music, Tidal, or Rune. I get a small commission when you use any of my links or sign up for any of those music platforms. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen through your new Weem Pro Plus with the AKM 4493S DAC chip inside and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Chief Audio Man.